Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Also don't forget to check out my channel, TR Tech Tactical. And uh, I got a lot of good fun stuff over there, product reviews, camping, outdoors, sporting. I have divided both channels, so have a look at that. I uh, got some notes, I usually never use notes, but I've got some notes because there was a lot of concern and a lot of questions. And uh, People mention a lot of things. Um, one uh, one point that was brought up uh, quite often and repeatedly is why don't you kill the roosters so they don't bother me? That uh, wasn't what I was going to talk about. But anyway, um, why don't you let the chickens free range totally? Well, uh, as you'll see in a video coming soon, it's outright deadly for these birds even in a closed container the predators out here are horrible I lost 30 chickens in my first two years out here because I wanted them free let them run free and have happiness and peace well they had happiness but they didn't live long there's predators in the day predators predators in the night um, I lost nine birds in 30 minutes one day just out here where I was, I was in my camper, sitting on the couch, 6.30 in the afternoon, birds were right behind the camper at one minute, soon after, gone, no more chickens. Um, I think a family of raccoons got down. I think it's time to eat some roosters. They try to compete with me for the camera, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, why do I want to expand my chicken run? A couple reasons. Um, sure, I could leave the chickens here, they'd be fine, and I could, uh, I could really protect that. And the electric fence has kept them pretty safe up till now. Well, when it quit working, I lost a chicken. I did lose a chicken uh, three nights ago, and then another chicken the night after. But the one chicken got taken out of the main run because the electric fence was down. I did fix it. And that video is coming up. I'm doing this spontaneous quick video to give you some updates now based on feedback I got on my uh, the booster video, the uh, t-shirt selling video I did the other day, just yesterday. Um, problem here, the biggest issue, why I want the chickens to run freely around the entire meadow. The biggest reason of all is the ticks here are so bad right now. It is so terrible, I pull off multiple ticks from me every single day here. None of my friends want to visit anymore. Met him any things? Go check out his last video. He says, I don't want to go to Troy's place, the ticks are too bad. He's afraid to pick up a tick and take it home to his family. Um, Trucker Buck probably won't be coming around at all anymore because he has two children, two. He has a baby and a, and a, a small boy. And he's afraid to pick up ticks and take them home to his family. So, the chickens eat ticks. This this zone out here is a, is a safe tick area, a tick-free zone. The garden, the chicken run, is the only place in my yard that is absolutely tick-free. I, I picked up a tick over here and killed it just the other day. Um, I saw it on the ground. I'm getting a good eye for them. This here is a tick-free zone, so I've learned that chickens will eat the ticks. The ticks will be drawn to the chickens, they'll go after them, and the chickens will eat anything that moves. So that works very well. So my idea, and why I got more chickens, is because I want to enclose the entire meadow, let the chickens run freely throughout the whole meadow, and that will eliminate the ticks in the entire meadow. I'll also, keeping out the deer, will reduce the amount of ticks in the meadow because ticks see deer as a free taxi ride. They hop on, they ride around, they suck the blood and then they drop off, reproduce, the babies come out in mass and uh, they look for a new host, which would be me or my visitors. So biggest issue is I've got to get the ticks cleared out. Lyme's disease is nothing to play with. It, it's agonizing pain, sleeplessness, and uh, it's just not something I want to go through the rest of my life. And none of my visitors or friends want to go through that. So I am hoping to 
fully enclosed this entire meadow. And what I'll do is I'm going to go out behind the, the tents so the chickens can clean that area. Out behind the blueberry patch so I can harvest the blueberries without being torn up by ticks. And out in behind the where the Christian camper is, the workshop camper. I want to go out that way a ways. And then out over past the border of the edge of the meadow here. Uh, just in a little ways. And then the trees are going to be actually the fence posts for my, my uh, fencing. Now if you imagine this tree standing up, on the inside facing inside the meadow, I'm going to tack on the, the, uh, the chicken wire. And then the outside facing out away from the meadow is going to be the electric fence supports. So I'm going to have one low, one medium, one high, same as I did here in the meadow. Which by the way, last year it did work. It did keep the, uh, the deer out and it kept the foxes, or uh, the coyotes out of my yard last year that while well, I had it working. Um, too many trees, too much snow, too many accidents have really ripped at the shreds and I let it go for now. Um, also I didn't have enough electricity in the winter to power that thing because that was a plug in the wall AC powered electric fence. Um, now let's talk about my, my future plans for for uh, well work a lot of people I know a lot of you really are uh, you know what's going on you know the story but a lot of people truly are confused and think I'm jobless uh, my videos are my job my full-time job and I sell stuff I am homesteading and I'm getting into farming and um, selling eggs selling meat as a very valid business selling uh, plants herbs I'm gonna have a massive herb garden in the next two years it's it's building up it's gonna take time everything takes time but I'm going to have a massive herb garden and I'm gonna have just about every herb known to man in the next couple years here uh, of course that takes time but that's a that's a business I'm working on basically farming I am basically homesteading and farming I am setting up my own business here and that is a very valid business. Anybody wants to deny that, then they're basically calling every farmer and homesteader in the world jobless, which is weird. Anyway, um, yes, I'm beginning. Yes, I'm starting out. So it's going to take time. And I'm trying to expand this property, the, you know, the, the way things are here. And don't worry, yes, I'm pretty stable here. I, uh, I'm st I can stay here as long as I want. So that's, that's well established. Don't worry about that. Um, a lot of people are concerned with the work that I put into this and the time and money. Don't worry about that. Um, some more, some more projects I've got planned. I, a lot of people are asking about the coasters. By the way, what happened to the coasters? I have to restart. I have to buy new tools and equipment. The guy met a girl, and she was, she looked like a supermodel. I saw her, and that was the end. Um, guy meets girl. Guy vanishes from the face of the earth. The end. He took all my equipment, all my tools, and all my my uh, pallet wood blanks I had planed and shaved and prepared, and he's gone. That's it. Um, so, I have to restart. I will. I'm going to start on the, uh, the coasters. I also have some really amazing ideas planned for pallet woods this year. I'm going to make... Um, chairs, benches, uh, spice racks, letter holders. I've got a lot of plans for pallet wood products. Now, I'm not just relying on sales on YouTube through videos. I have a great thing planned here. And here, here's the greatest of all. My landlady also happens to own the main corner lot in town where two major roads intersect. All the villages around the area pass through these two, this intersection. It is a major intersection of all the surrounding community. Heavy, heavy traffic right there. She owns the very corner. It is the ultimate setup. And I've worked a deal. I'm going to be start to be selling chickens, eggs, 
uh, herbs, vegetables, preserved and canned foods, maple syrup. I'm going to start selling my own homemade pallet wood products. Oh, birdhouses. Super idea. Barnwood birdhouse, pallet wood birdhouse, reclaimed lumber birdhouses. Really awesome, good uh, selling points. The paint at Drew, True Value Hardware, I watch it and often I'll find a, a, a gallon of paint for $8, which lasts a long time. I can paint a lot of birdhouses with a gallon of paint. So I'm setting up the workshop tent over here and that is going to be the workshop tent. The big tan tent is going to be the workshop. I'm. It takes time. I, I do a lot of stuff off camera that you don't see, but I am setting that all up. I have plans to have the generator outside to run some big power tools that I have, and I plan on getting the Christian camper over here. And um, I want to work it on over out next to the tent, the workshop camper, I should say. And I want to park it here so all my tools are together. So, big plans. Uh, this year I'm not going to make as much money as I will next year, but I am establishing a solid homesteading and farming business, and I do have the ultimate prime real estate for selling it. It is the ultimate spot for selling, right on the main intersection. So I hope that clears things up. Now, I know a lot of people are confused about what I do. By the way, while I'm talking about what I do and how I make money, for those of you that don't know, uh, making YouTube videos is my main job. Everything else out here, by the way, is let's say you have a 9 to 5 job. You get up in the morning, you go to work, you have lunch, you finish your day, you come home, and then you do your hobbies. You do your gardening, you do whatever, you do your herb gardens, your flowers, take care of the animals. In a way, that's what I'm doing. I make YouTube videos every day and that is my primary job. Uh, it is a job. There's a lot of people doing it and it's a lot of work. I also have multiple websites that I run and I earn money off those websites. That is a valid job. There's a lot of website designers and operators and owners and maintainers. I'm also a PHP programmer. I don't tell you about all that stuff because it has nothing at all to do with homesteading. I do have a job. I have a couple jobs actually. Um, and then also selling stuff on the side. Selling souvenirs, which is coming. Selling t shirts. By the way, have a look at the bottom and ugh, the bugs are getting out in force. Have a look here in the video description and get your uh, off grid project souvenir t shirts. They are available for another 14 days. I'm running it only 14 days so that you get your shirt pretty quickly. And the, the funds from selling the t-shirts is going to help me fence in the entire meadow to keep out the ticks and then people can start visiting me again and I don't have to worry and fear for my life every single day I walk out here because the ticks are really, really bad. If you don't know about Lyme's disease, you're lucky. I never knew about ticks, never saw one in my life till I moved to New York. They're bad. I'm always looking. After I'm done down this video, I'll check myself. Every time before I go in the house, I check myself. Anyway, um, a lot going on, a lot of plans, and uh, a lot of future expansion coming up. So uh, I hope you all stick along for the, stay along for the ride, and I hope to see you on tomorrow's video, and the day after that, and the day after that. Thanks for watching.